You feeling it? Did the pre-workout kick in yet? Hey guys, I am so excited to talk to you guys today. I am just back from a vacation. I wanna to talk to you about something that is going on in my life and that might help you out as well. All of us have been there. We come back from vacation, maybe had a couple too many donut slices of pizza, cocktails, burgers, nachos, Doritos, everything. And I have been there and I'm kind of there right now, feeling a little bit fluffy, need to get back on track. And what do you do? And it's so common that people will fall off the bandwagon and kind of keep going down a slippery slope. And what I want to help you do is get back on the bandwagon, but stay there. So I'm going to share with you my top five tips to get back on track post vacation. So let's get started. Tip number one, you've got to have a plan. I truly believe like planning is like my all time favorite thing, meal planning, all that type of stuff, because if you go in without a plan, your chances of failure are that much better. Fail to plan, plan to fail. So when I say plan, I mean like refocus, regroup, plan your workouts and plan your meals. Whether that is a fitness journey and or a nutrition journey, you've got to have a plan. So if you're doing a cleanse, then figure out what you're eating. If you're going to do a workout and clean eating, figure that out ahead of time. In terms of refocusing and regrouping, what I personally do is I make sure to start my day with a little bit of meditation and refocusing myself, whether that be an hour of yoga or 15 minutes of stretching, it doesn't really matter as long as you can really have your mind in it to win it. That's half the battle. And you know what else really helps is having an accountability buddy. So whether that be your spouse, a friend, even somebody online that maybe you met on Instagram, um, I think that that really helps because having that second layer of accountability and having that person hold you accountable to your journey is so awesome. And just being able to check in with them is huge. I think the greatest thing that you could ever do in starting your journey or getting back on track is taking before pictures that's going to help you towards your goal so much more and you'll be so happy that you took them they might be a little bit difficult to take because you're not exactly in the most flattering of physiques at the moment but you will see such a difference in your progress in just 30 days and i think that that could be really something special to you especially something that could hit that close to home and sometimes it's those low points that push us even further and also just in terms of refocusing i personally start my day with this and it makes such a difference be grateful. Be grateful for the body that you have and the ability that you have to work out and that's going to take you so much further. I truly think that your body will achieve what your mind believes and if you're constantly speaking negative self-talk, it's not going to achieve what you want it to. So you've got to be truly grateful for the body that you have and own that. Okay, step number two, you've got to flush it out. Flush out all those toxins, all the crud, all the crap and do whatever you need to do to flush out. And I will share with you a couple of my favorite tools to do that. Hands down, obviously, is to drink a ton of water, a ton of it, just flush it out. So what I personally drink is just lemon water so that it's a little bit less boring. And I love, love, love taking baths, especially with Epsom salts, it's gonna flush out all the toxins. Yes, you will probably be peeing like every 30 to 45 minutes. And just a quick tip, if your pee becomes clear, that's how you know that you're on the right track because I don't know if you know this, if your pee is bright yellow, that means that your body is not alkaline at all and you have a ton of acid in your body. So clear pee is good. Another thing that you can do to speed up the flushing process is take raw dandelion root. So it's just pure dandelion, that's it. No crazy pills or anything like that. It's really just from a natural food store and it's dandelion root. It actually has other health benefits as well. So I personally love taking it post vacation and during my vacation. Also a good thing to note is that caffeine will dehydrate you even more. So try and limit your intake of caffeine at least for the first seven days post vacation. So watch the pre-workout, watch the coffee. Are you my workout buddy for the day? We're gonna do asylum, okay? You feeling it? Did the pre-workout kick in yet? Not yet, eh? You're a lazy little beast. If you're coming back from vacation right now and you're anything like me, your skin is probably a mess. I have like developed some sort of like little red bumps everywhere. And I think that it's just from total lack of proper nutrition. And what you're gonna see is in keeping your body incredibly hydrated, you're not only gonna flush out all the crud that you probably took into your body on vacation, but you're also going to feel mentally clearer. Your skin is gonna clear up. You'll just feel better overall. And you'll notice a huge change in your body. 
Number three, obviously what goes hand in hand with hydration is in terms of flushing it out is sweat it out. You will probably be able to get out most of the toxins within the first seven days of your journey and feel so much better just after your first workout because the power of sweating it out is huge. I personally did a high impact workout today. It was only 24 minutes and I was drenched. So what I would suggest doing is have a workout plan. I personally love having a calendar. I follow a set workout plan. My workouts aren't necessarily that long. I know exactly what workout I'm doing on which day and it's all planned out and scheduled for me. So I'm gonna share exactly what workout I did today with you guys and walk you through it. So for my workout today, I did day one of Insanity the Asylum and I basically had a fit test, which is kind of like the Insanity fit test, but it's called a sports performance assessment and it was crazy. 24 minutes and I was drenched. So these are the exact moves that I did. I did agility Heismans, in and out abs, lat push-ups, mountain climbers with a switch kick, shoulder taps, X jumps, tap push-ups, lateral agilities, and bear crawls, OMG. So tip number four is the most important thing, but it's usually the thing that people don't do and it's because it's the hardest. The workouts aren't the hardest part. That's the easy part. It's your nutrition that you have to get in check, your diet. And my best tip that I could ever give you for this, and this has completely revolutionized my life, is plan it. Meal plan and meal prep are like my jam. And I could walk you through all of it right now, but you know what, I have a whole video on it. So if you want that, you can just click the link below. I will post it and you can go and check out exactly how I meal prep and plan. Now, quick disclaimer, I filmed that video quite a while ago. So don't crucify me if everything in there isn't perfect. Number five. Be patient. Like I said in step number one, you've got to self-love your body. You can't hate yourself and hope to have dropped 10 pounds in the first seven days. And what's going to happen is you're going to be retaining a ton of water because what happens when you travel is you send your body into a state of shock, not only from flying 36,000 feet in the air, but also just being in a different country, a different area. You might've noticed that you got clogged up a couple days. That is so normal because your body is in a semi state of shock. It doesn't know what's going on. The other thing is that you probably took in more sodium than you are anywhere near used to. So your body is retaining all of that water. So you've got to give it a chance to flush it out. And the best way that you can do that is go through these five steps. But I think the biggest one has to be to just be patient. You've got to give this more than seven days. So love yourself and keep going. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and you got a, a couple nuggets out of it. And if you would, do give me a quick thumbs up if it was helpful for you or drop a comment below if you have any questions at all and make sure that you subscribe because I'm gonna keep sharing my entire journey. We're only on day one, so we're gonna keep going with this. I really wanna hold myself accountable and check in with you guys every single day and share my journey. So take your before pictures and get started. I can't wait to talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.